to see you all again. Can we do something fun, Box? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Today we're going to learn something about rockets. Oh, great! They can take you to outer space. And do you know how fast a rocket flies, Box? Well, shall we have a look? We're going to travel to space together in our very own rocket. Yeah, we're going into space! Should we start again with a fun guessing game? You can see three things here that have something to do with flying. But which one is the closest to the way a rocket flies? The bird has wings, like me! Birds can flap their wings. Rockets can't do that. And the catapult, it can shoot a pebble very fast and far. But a catapult would need an enormous elastic band for a rocket. <laughs> a balloon floats! Yes. Balloons float. They're not fast at all. Hmm. But have you ever blown up a balloon and then just let it go without putting a knot in it? Oh, yes. Yes, it flies off really fast. Yes, it does. The air shoots out of the opening in the balloon, which makes it fly off fast in the opposite direction. And that's close to how a rocket works. Are there balloons in a rocket? <laughs> no, there are no balloons in a rocket. A rocket has a powerful engine and lots of fuel. The exhaust gas blasts out of the engine at great speed, just like the air in the balloon. And is it liftoff then? I'd love to see that. Well, you're in luck, because here's a rocket that's about to be launched. Look, there it is on the launching pad. Oh, it's so exciting. Four, three, two, one, liftoff! Oh, yes! The fire is coming from the bottom of the rocket, so that's what's pushing it up. There it goes! Whoa, yes! There it goes! It's going so fast! Whoa! <laughs> It's a wonderful sight, isn't it? Yes, it really is. Rockets need a lot of rocket fuel to thrust out of Earth's gravity. Is it all in the rocket? A rocket is usually made up of two or three parts, which we call stages. When a stage has used up all its fuel, it disconnects from the rocket and falls back to Earth, usually falling in the sea. So it gets rid of bits. Yes, it doesn't need those parts anymore. Look, it's floating in space now, so it doesn't need as much power. And what's in the other parts? Well, let's look at all the different parts. The engine is at the bottom. There are large fuel tanks on the sides. These come off when they are empty. And that's where the next stage is disconnected. It's not needed anymore. And what's in the top part of the rocket, then? It's a satellite. This rocket is taking a satellite to space to orbit around Earth. The rocket's like a taxi. 
<laughs> yes, a taxi that takes the satellite to space. That's right. And can you guess what else goes in a rocket? To a space station, for example? Look carefully. I'm sure you'll be able to guess what it is. Um, I see white and blue. Yes, white and blue. Stripes. Oh, that looks like a hand. Well done. Hey, a face. There's someone there. Yes. Huh? Um... Is this an astronaut? Mm-hmm. Yes! Astronauts! They are astronauts. That's right! Astronauts sometimes spend time working in the International Space Station. They fly there in a rocket. <laughs> they are going to the rocket! Goodbye! Have a good journey! Bye-bye! Are they in the rocket now? Yes, they are sitting in the rocket now. Woohoo! There they go! Whoa! <laughs> the spacesuits are just like ours, aren't they, Box? Yes, they are real spacesuits. They protect them from the different pressures they endure during the flight. And can the astronauts fly the rocket now? Sometimes astronauts can fly the rocket a bit, but rockets usually fly on automatic pilot or they're controlled from Earth. Here is a speeded up film of all the people at ground control looking after the astronauts' journey. I've got another game for you. We've already looked at how rockets fly, but do you think that they're faster than vehicles here on Earth? Can you guess what goes the fastest? A high-speed train? A jet? Or a rocket? Hmm, that's a fast train. But a jet is faster, I think. But a rocket is even faster. Yeah, I think the rocket is the fastest. With all that fire coming out its tail. Yes, a rocket is much faster than a high-speed train or a jet. To escape Earth's gravity, it has to fly at 40,000 kilometers an hour. Whoa, that's super fast! Super fast! Woohoo! I'd like a rocket of my own that I could play with. A real rocket would be rather big. Why don't we draw a rocket? You can cut it out and play with it, shall we? Let's draw! Yes! We'll start at the top. Go right down to the bottom. And up again. That's it. And then the wings. The wings! <laughs> but they are not flapping wings. <laughs> Another one. And one more. And the bit at the top. Oh, yes. And then... the window. Well done. A nice circle. That's not easy. It doesn't have to be a circle. Just a nice window to look out of. Dot, 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 dot. Yes! And colour it in. Some bright red. That's nice. I'm going to draw it on paper and cut it out. And then, whoosh! I'll fly it around the room. <laughs> Shall we go back to Earth then? Yes, then I can make a rocket. But we'll come back to space soon, won't we, Bugs? Yes, of course. We'll come back again soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye, space. See you soon. <laughs> Did you like it too, Peppa? Yes! That was a great journey through space. And do you remember all the things you learned? Um... Whoa. Ooh! 
A rocket engine has a strong blast to push it up in the air. When the fuel is finished, then the engine falls up. These astronauts are flying together in a rocket. Astronauts fly to space stations so they can work there. And rockets can also carry satellites up to space. Rockets have to go super fast to escape Earth's gravity. Well, wasn't that a great journey? Yes! And next time we'll go there, or there, or there. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, Toby. Bye, Pepper. Bye, Box the Bear. Zoo Zoo. Story Zoo. Goodbye to everyone.